Hi there guys, my name is Mengs, and after a long while, it's finally time to give you guys another episode of Cooking with Mengs and Panzergraf. Uh, this footage is actually taken from last summer. I thought I lost it at first, but then I managed to recover it on an external hard drive, so I thought I'd make another cooking video for you guys, since a lot of you seem to enjoy the one I did last year. This is filmed up at my family cabin, located far up in the Telemark Mountains. Today we are cooking up a very tasty dish called beer canned chicken. The concept is quite simple, put a chicken over a can of beer and let it literally be steamed from the inside on the grill, giving it an amazing juicy beer-like taste. The problem with this dish is that it's very hard to do properly on a simple coal grill, so we had to find some clever solutions to make it work, which you'll see later on in the video. So anyway, let us begin the process of preparing the chicken. So we have two raw ones on the table right here and we put them each over a open half full can of beer. Most chickens have a hole in the bottom so it's quite easy to fit them over a can, although you probably need a big one. We also have an aluminum foil under each one as putting the cans directly on the grill can be a bit risky as they can either tip over or simply melt from the intensity heat. So we're gonna give these two chickens different seasonings. The first one will pencil with olive oil and rub in with different spices, making a sort of a traditional style chicken. We use salt, pepper, Provence and oregano and mix it all together in a small container. Then we just gotta use our hands and just rub the spice mix all over the chicken. Because of the olive oil it'll stick right to it. Don't be afraid to completely cover it in spices, chicken is a bit boring on its own, so cover that baby up completely. The second chicken we're gonna do something quite different with. Remember the first video where I showed you guys how Panzergraf prepares his marinade for the pork chops? Well, it just so happens to be that the day before filming this, we had the exact same meal, and Panzergraf intentionally made a bit too much so that we've had some leftovers for today. So the second chicken we will completely cover in that marinade, which works equally well for chicken as it does for pork. It's quite strong and spicy though, so the results will be a more traditional American barbecue style chicken. Once both of the chickens are done, it's time to put some goodies in the bottom. And you may notice that we poured a little bit of the beer inside the cans out in the containers themselves, and this is very much intentional. This means that the chickens will be steamed with beer from both the inside and the outside. And additionally, we're putting some onions as well as some butter in the forms. Haha, <laughs> yes I know, and the onions. Funny meme. At any rate, the, the onions <laughs> flavor will seep into the meat over hours of slow cooking, and they can also be eaten as a snack next to the chicken themselves, as they're literally cooked in beer, and they taste pretty amazing. Here you can see both of the chickens outside just before we're about to put them on the grill. Panzergraf has preheated some coal in advance, so we don't have to wait for that. Notice how he only covers half of the grill with the coal. This is called indirect grilling and is crucial for chicken, as direct grilling is going to sear it and make it dry. He also puts a bit of uh, birch wood onto the grill, and this is something that we discovered last time as it adds a bit of smoky wooden flavor to the meat. You should definitely try it out. Now, remember how I told you guys that it's normally hard to do barbecue chicken on a regular coal grill? This is because you need a high lid to ensure that the chicken gets roasted evenly on all sides. Well, Panzergraf found a solution. He literally made his own custom lid at home, and it works like a charm. We're grilling the chicken on slow heat for at least two hours. This isn't food you can make quickly. You need to give the chickens lots of time to get properly cooked through, as raw chicken meat is definitely not something you want to eat. Also, by giving them a lot of time, we allow the beer to slowly steam them from the inside, filling the meat with juicy flavor. You're gonna see at the end of the video just how darn tender this chicken gets. Trust me guys, it's gonna be absolutely amazing.
Anyway, to the miracle of time, the chicken is done. Oh my god, believe me guys, the smell is just divine. We carry them inside in two big pots and pour the remaining beers into them, allowing the chickens to bathe in it. Then we just gotta properly prepare the table with side dishes. We literally cut the chicken up while it's still in the pot and then it's time to show you guys just how tender and juicy it is. Mmm, 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 look at that! Oh my god, you can basically suck the meat off the bone. Alright, so that was another episode of Cooking with Mangs and Panzergraf. We hope you enjoyed this video. We're actually going back up there in two weeks, so you might expect another video, as we make a lot of different dishes up there. Let me know if you want to try this out for yourself. It's really not that hard to do if you got a proper grill. And if you do, let me know how it went in the comment section. Anyway guys, my name is Finn Mangs, and I'm pretty hungry right now. Thank you for watching, and maybe we'll see you guys again soon. Bye bye! Have you ever had sex in a canoe? It's like bird water. It's fucking close to water. <laughs> 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 <laughs>